National Missionary Seminary of St. Paul, Guagualada, Abuja has organized her annual St. Paul's Lectures for 2022. The lecture for this year focused on constructing redemptive hope for Nigeria and drew participants from the clergy, politicians and the lay faithful. CTV Stony Abba reports. It was a gathering of seminarians, priests, the religious, the political class and the lay faithful. They are gathered in this hall at the National Missionary Seminary of St. Paul, Guagualada, Abuja for the annual St. Paul's Lectures. The lecture began with a welcome address by the rector of the seminary, Reverend Father Pius Ekbe, who was represented by the Deputy Rector, Reverend Father Raymond Daina, where he gave the essence of the lecture. The annual St. Paul Lecture is a forum that continues that tradition in deliberation with regard to how the goings on are wherever the Missionary Society of St. Paul are working. And after due deliberation, the organizing committee of the annual St. Paul Lecture came up with a theme, Constructing Redemptive Narratives of Hope for the annual St. Paul Lecture 2022. This year's lecture, ladies and gentlemen, is situated within the context of the forthcoming general elections in 2023. The keynote speaker and the former governor of Imo State, Right Honorable Emeka Ihedioha, in his address stated that the lecture is necessary to draw consciousness to the 2023 general elections. A lecture that is intricately woven around Christian faith, political leadership and the future of Nigeria is most desirable because it provides us with an opportunity to dispassionately appraise our political peregrination in this highly faith-based nation. This is necessary in order to develop a philosophical framework of action constructed around time-tested religious ethos that are needed to jumpstart our stagnant national development. He added that politics and the church are interrelated. Over the centuries, Christianity and politics, particularly liberal democracy, are known to be intrinsically interlinked. Several scholars, faith-based authorities, and church leaders have in many ways demonstrated this sacred reality. The Emeritus Archbishop of Abuja, John Cardinal Onayakon, who was the guest lecturer, in his lecture, outlined some of the factors militating against the development of Nigeria. Factors tearing us apart. Perhaps the major obstacle for which we have not been able to develop at the expected pace is our inability to grow together as one united nation. We talk a lot about unity, but our actions often take a contrary route. The Cardinal also blamed our political woes on corruptions and godfatherism. We should pay special attention to how political leaders emerge. The system we see around us now is riddled with corruption and godfatherism. After the lecture, there was an interactive session with question and answers. High point of the lecture was the presentation of awards to distinguished personalities who have contributed to humanity. Some of the participants spoke to CTV News. I'm granting on this opportunity to have this particular event. It is a series that takes place every year for the Amos and World Lecture to celebrate the conversion of St. Paul for the Missionary Society of St. Paul of Nigeria. The Missionary Society of St. Paul of Nigeria has missionaries working all over the world, in all the different continents in the world. This year's lecture is against the background of are thinking forward, thinking about the next general elections and the big concerns many Nigerians have. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.